like you, if possible, to keep your answers short and don't elaborate too much. Certain, ma. <laughs> Some are going to be true and false, okay? Yes. True. true or false? You ready? I grew up in the South. True. True or false? I had a mammy. <laughs> what is a mammy? A mammy. It's it's a black mommy. True or false? When I was young, I used to listen to old men sing the blues. False. True or false? I never appeared in a Tennessee Williams play. False. What play? Summer and Smoke. A good example of a female rock singer I like is... Is Aretha Franklin a rock singer? No. I'm sorry. True or false? I think Bobby Knight has done a lot for Bloomington music. Don't know. I practice blank hours a day singing. I... Fear. Four. When I practice, I break my schedule into... Warming up. Singing Bach, singing American composers' music, and practicing. I have studied voice with Margaret Hope Sams in Charleston, West Virginia, and Linda Anderson in the University School of Music. <laughs> Probably not yet. Some of them. Some of them. Too late. I came to Bloomington in blank. Nineteen sixty-nine. We meant the vehicle. Oh, in blank. <laughs> <laughs> Volkswagen. The reason I came to Bloomington was to visit Mary. 
Flower. True or false, my personality is the same when I'm on stage or off stage? False. The first rock and roll band I ever sang in was? Mmm, the Teen Tones. True or false, every female, fem every female pop star is going to have problems with the band? Mmm, don't know. I I'm like, not every female pop star. I like the 60s, A, more, B, less, C, the same as the 70s. Same. B. True or false, living in Bloomington in 1968 was harder than living in Bloomington in 1975. True. Inflation. The first rock and roll record I remember... No, false. <laughs> too late. The first rock and roll record I remember enjoying was... What? Come again. <laughs> the first rock and roll record I remember enjoying was... Um, walking your cat named Dog. <laughs> the first... Big record. That's a 33. I ever bought was first big record. Probably Peter Paul and Mary. <laughs> Which album? Mmm. I forget the name. In grade school, I was introverted, extroverted, had no personality. Extroverted. True or false? I remember having a crush on an English pop star. Ringo. One thing I really like about Mark Bingham's music is his poetry. Love. This tune's an upcoming hit single from Mark Bingham from Barbecue Records. Oh, what was the name of that one? 
A divine link. It, no, not, a, not that one. Oh, the thieves like us. Good I rarely, occasionally, generally watch TV. <sighs> generally. Okay, I'm going to name some places where you have played. And just give me the first association there. that you get. All right. Uh, Dun Meadow. The first association I yeah. get? Yeah. That's what uh, I'm going to say. Uh, Rick Darby for Judge. Ludlow's Garage. Jim Tarbell, Captain Beefheart. The Bluebird. Yuck. <laughs> Indiana University <laughs> Alumni Hall. Uh, Birch By for President. True or false, I never have a problem remembering lyrics or lines in the play. No problem. I enjoy performing with Terry Cook because... He gives me respect. <laughs>
be a good singer, it helps to sing a lot. To make money singing, it helps to mm, have a good manager. If I had the money, I'd really like to buy a yacht for my parents. True or false, musicians are generally boring people. False. True. <laughs> Uh, one of my <laughs> not enjoyable, but not boring. Uh, one of my favorite versions of the Screaming Gypsy Band was with Stan Gage, Mark Gray, Eric Hochberg, Steve Eyes, and Terry Cook. Mark Bingham, me. The perfect man for president is Bruce Anderson. Too What's that question? <laughs> Andy Warhol says many things I agree with. I don't know. I don't know about Andy Warhol. If music were wrestling, the person I would like to have as a female tag team partner in the music world is... Mm. Aretha. The first time I ever sang for money was... <clears throat> Rotary Club in Charleston, West Virginia. Singing in church was like... Waiting for the sermon to be over. One concert that really affected my musical ideas was? Uh, at, in Atlanta at the Great Southeast Music Hall when we flopped. <laughs> what about a concert that somebody else did? Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that. Um, my Ella Fitzgerald on TV. One of my favorite people at the music school is? All right, let's go from page six, the second score, the third measure. See, this is where you're talking about. First thing I do in the morning after getting dressed is <laughs> make make coffee. True or false? I have written many songs. False. Uh, I am barely, moderately, heavily involved in the mixing of my music. Barely. The reason Mock Up was chosen as the title for my first album on Barbecue is because. Mark Bingham <laughs> chose it. The name of my new album is? Nothing yet. What? No. No, that's not the name. There's no name yet. One of my favorite songs on mock-up is? Don Beggs. I had little, moderate, a lot of control of the decisions made on my album. The new one? Yeah. A new lot. One. What about the first one? I don't even remember. One of the good things about barbecue records is mm, cheap studio time. 
One of the bad things about barbecue is no promotion distribution. The luckiest thing I can remember happening recently in my music career was uh, getting in the course that's going to Germany with Helmut, really. <laughs> One rock star who should be taken out and shot is Bruce Springsteen. One of the best examples of a pop star who can handle success is Carole King. I'd always go see blank whenever he she's in town. <laughs> <laughs> Chick Corea, Keith, no, Keith Jarrett, no. Uh, I was blank when I learned John Kennedy was shot. Where? Was, Where were you? Oh, eighth period geography class, Mrs. Hambrick. I always remember being frightened of. Frightened of? <laughs> True or false, I generally feel confident on stage. True. True or false, there's no business like show business. True. True or false, a pretty girl is like a melody. <laughs> He said it, Buster. The time I was most <laughs> the time I was most afraid to go on stage was never. True or false? Music hath powers to soothe the savage beast. True.
The best preparation for singing is practice. <coughs> oh, you mean before you go on stage? Yeah. <coughs> Drinking. Drinking. <laughs> Anything particular? Wine, wine, wine. Uh, true or false? <coughs> uh, drugs and music don't mix. <laughs> set up. Uh, one TV show I can't stand is. Oh, 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 I can't remember. Two for the row, or is that it? Three for the row. Uh, uh, they're yeah. horrible things. Yeah. Uh, true or false, the arts in America should be subsidized. <laughs> yeah. True or false, I always knew I would be doing what I'm doing. You mean getting my hair cut? <laughs> when I was little, I dreamed a lot about living in the South was good because my relatives were rich. The movie Nashville was an accurate portrayal. I don't know. I think a film that really showed what it's like to perform on stage is my parents were pleased, had no feeling, angry, annoyed by Maka. Pleased. Something I never tried but I would really like to do is... Uh, get rich. <laughs> uh, the best... <laughs> how about this? True or false, the best... <laughs> true or false, the best pet I ever had was blank. <laughs> oh, Toddy. <laughs> but he ran away, my cat. Mm -hmm. I use a blank guitar. Guild D40. Because? Acoustic. Because it's good. I like it. True or false? Lead guitar should be seen and not heard. <laughs> false if it's the right lead guitar. True or false? I smoke cigarettes even though it's bad for my voice. True, a little. How much do you smoke and what do you smoke? I smoke hits of other people's cigarettes. <laughs> The best, uh oh, wait, we asked that. One thing wrong with the gypsies was that. I was unorganized. True or false? I'd rather be in charge of a band than just singing it. True. Record albums I have appeared on include. Maka, oh, let's, let's see. Ligeti's Requiem by Choir at Northwestern. Maka, Bob Lucas's album, The Dancer Inside You. In the Eye by Scream Gypsy Bandits. I believe that's all up to now. My favorite. Oh, wait, oh. Yes. Tina Lane and the Scream Gypsy Bandits and Joe Chitwood. <laughs> Tina Lane, where was that released? I don't know. Just Joe Chitwood's own living room. <laughs> My favorite sport is. My I... favorite sport. What is my favorite sport? I don't play anything. No athletic exercising? Scrabble. <laughs> I can't stand people in audiences who... Yell. Who can yell about playing rock and roll, maybe. If I weren't doing what I'm doing now, I might be... Uh, in Europe. Uh, true or false, there is a God. Who knows? Hmm. If there is a God, true or false, I think he likes my music. True. <laughs>